Welcome to this tutorial on using Cloudinary's extension for Magento. Integrating Cloudinary on your Magento store gives you enhanced control and customization of images, photos, videos and other media while also helping improve page load speeds and website performance. Specifically, this extension can be used to effectively manage and deliver media to specific browsers, mobiles and web applications to suit various viewing contexts. These are all important factors for running and delivering a successful online store. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to install and use Cloudinary's image and video management extension for Magento. Before we can dive into how we use the Cloudinary extension, we first need to install it. Step one of the installation is to get the extension from the Magento Marketplace. This extension is free to download. Using the link shown, go to the Cloudinary extension page in the Marketplace. Select your Magento edition and select the version number and then add to cart. Now proceed through the checkout. This next stage will require some knowledge of installing Magento extensions. You can install the extension via Composer. The Cloudinary extension is available on Magento Marketplace as well as on GitHub, so feel free to choose whichever option works best for you. Instructions can be found in the GitHub entry for the steps required to install the extension. Here you can see the extension being installed via the command line interface. In this example, each line of the installation's commands are manually copied and pasted from the GitHub instructions and executed one after each other. Once complete, you are able to set up and configure Cloudinary via the Magento admin. After you successfully installed the extension, your next step will be to link a Cloudinary account to your Magento store. We let you create an account with generous amounts of storage, bandwidth and transformations for free. If you require more capacity, advanced or nuanced needs, you can upgrade to one of our higher plans. You can see many of our plan options and associated details on our pricing page. To create an account, go to cloudinary.com and click on the sign up for free button at the top right of the page. Once created, you'll next need to navigate to your Magento settings to link the account. Navigate to the Cloudinary settings in your Magento store admin. To link your Cloudinary account, you'll be required to provide your authentication details. This is easily done by going to the Cloudinary setup panel and complete the Cloudinary account credentials. The details you need to fill in are handily located in your Cloudinary dashboard and can be copied and pasted into your Magento extension configuration. Now that we have the Cloudinary account and the extension linked, we can begin to configure how we would like to use Cloudinary. We will start off by enabling Cloudinary in the Magento admin. Go to the Enable module panel and select Yes and Save. Cloudinary is now enabled. Any new images will automatically upload to your Cloudinary account. Next, we want to make sure that any media that is already associated with the Magento store is uploaded to Cloudinary. To do this, we go to the Cloudinary Accounts Credential panel and select Use Auto Upload Mapping to Upload Images. Set this to Yes and Save. Now any media that was already uploaded on your website will be delivered by Cloudinary. You can see these images in your Cloudinary account. The next job is to decide on how we would like images to be dealt with at a global level. We do this in the default image transformation panel. What we put in here applies to all the images, saving time in optimizing and modifying each image across our Magento store. We recommend you use the default settings to start off with, and these are the most appropriate for a majority of Cloudinary users. For example, the first setting is automate image optimization formatting settings. By default, this will optimize the delivery of an image based on the browser a customer is looking at your store from. The image quality setting ensures images are delivered to a browser of a good enough quality to the human eye while minimizing the image size and load times. The user guide will help you if you are required to make any changes beyond the default settings. Global custom transformation allows transformation across all images such as sizing, cropping and watermarks. 
Full details of the many transformation options available here can be found in our Cloudinary documentation. In this example, all images are given a rounded corner of 60 pixels and an image width of 200 pixels. Once you have made changes to your global custom transformation, you can preview by selecting the preview button. If these changes were saved, it would be applied to all images. The Cloudinary extension also gives you the ability to adjust the settings for your product gallery shown in any of the product detail pages. This will replace Magento's default gallery. The Cloudinary Gallery has a whole load of advanced features for manipulating and enhancing images either individually or en masse. Check out our Cloudinary documentation to explore what you can do. In this example, we are enabling the Cloudinary Product Gallery, placing the thumbnail images at the top, and enabling the fade transition. Once we have saved and flushed the cache, we can view the Cloudinary Enable Product Gallery on the storefront. Additionally, the Product Gallery settings allow for style changes via the Magento Admin. Now that you understand the basic components of our extension's global image and product gallery settings, we can take a closer look at the settings for individual images, which includes both CMS as well as product images. Firstly, let's look at the Cloudinary Digital Asset Management. Users of Magento typically use Magento Media Library for managing images. This has its limitations. By using Cloudinary, Users will have increased control of these library images through the Cloudinary interface. Specifically, by having Cloudinary integrated through the Magento extensions, all assets are delivered from Cloudinary using our optimized features and content delivery network. This means that all your assets are synced between Cloudinary and Magento at all times. This is not just restricted to images. The digital asset management system gives you control of all digital assets, including documents and videos. Finding and organizing images is much simpler using the Cloudinary Media Library. From this panel, you can easily manage your entire photo and media library. More details on how to manage your Cloudinary account and assets can be found in the Cloudinary's Digital Asset Management documentation. Now let's look at some of the specifics around managing and manipulating product images on our Magento store through Cloudinary. If we take a look at an individual product, you will see that a group of image options has appeared in a new tab called Cloudinary. Within this option group, you can see all the images that have been loaded against this product. You can perform transformations on individual images from here. In this example, a sales badge is overlaid at the top right of the product image. To upload an image to a product, we'll be using the image and video groups. Notice the add from Cloudinary option. Selecting this will allow us to add images to the product that have already been stored in Cloudinary, as well as upload new images to Cloudinary. You can also upload your own videos and use these videos as your product video. To do this, find your chosen video in your Cloudinary account and copy the URL by selecting the link icon. In the product, select Add Video and paste the copied URL into the Videos URL field. The video will be streamed from your Cloudinary account and you'll also be able to take advantage of our enhanced video management solutions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. As you can see, in very little time you can install and use the Cloudinary extension to manage and optimise the delivery of images and media within Magento. More information and guides on setting up Cloudinary can be found at cloudinary.com forward slash documentation. Or for more information on this extension and its setup, please contact our team at support at cloudinary.com.